two vehicles start out traveling side by side along a straight road. Their position functions shown in the following graph are given by s equals f of t and s equals g of t, where s is measured in meters and t is measured in seconds. The first question is which vehicle has traveled further at t equals four seconds? Let's start by determining the points on both graphs where t equals four seconds. On the blue graph, we have the point four comma four. This indicates that g of four is equal to four. We know vehicle g has traveled four meters after four seconds. And now focusing on the red graph, we have the point four comma six, which indicates f of four is equal to six. Vehicle f has traveled six meters after four seconds, and therefore vehicle f has traveled further. Next, what is the approximate velocity of the f vehicle at t equals five seconds? The velocity is equal to the slope of the tangent line to the position function. So because we're focusing on vehicle F, we're focusing on the red line. If we locate the point where T equals five, we have this point here. And now if we sketch a tangent line to the line at this point, notice how the tangent line is going to be the same as the function F of T. And therefore to find the velocity of vehicle F at T equals five seconds, we need to find the slope of this red line, which again is the same as the tangent line. So notice how if we go up approximately 1.5 units, and write one unit, we can see the slope is going to be 1.5 divided by one or 1.5, which indicates the velocity is approximately 1.5 meters per second at t equals five seconds. Next, what is the approximate velocity of the G vehicle at t equals five seconds? So now we focus on the blue graph at t equals five, we have this point here. And now we need to sketch the tangent line at this point and then find the slope of the tangent line to approximate the velocity of the g vehicle at t equals five seconds. So here we have the tangent line. From the point of tangency, notice how if we go up three units and right one unit, the slope of the tangent line is three divided by one or three which indicates the approximate velocity of the G vehicle at t equals five seconds is three meters per second. And for the last question, which vehicle is traveling faster at t equals six seconds? Let's begin by determining the points on both graphs where t equals six seconds. In this case, it happens to be the point of intersection, which indicates at t equals six seconds, the vehicles have traveled the same distance but again, our question is which vehicle is traveling faster at t equals six seconds. Focusing on the red line, we already know the slope of the tangent line at this point is going to be the same as the slope of the red line given by f of t, which we know is 1.5. So we know vehicle f is traveling 1.5 meters per second at t equals six seconds. To approximate the velocity of the g vehicle at t equals six seconds, we need to sketch the tangent line to the blue graph at this point, which would look something like this. And we can easily see the slope of this tangent line is going to be more than 1.5, and therefore we know vehicle G is traveling faster at t equals six seconds. I hope you found this helpful.